Hello everybody, welcome to Kirt's Game. I'm your host Kirt's today back at it again with some more Empire. We're playing the amazing mod, Awakening of the Rebellion, with the sub mod, Awakening of Awakening of the Independences, I think it's called. Today we're taking a deeper dive into some more of the factions, particularly the Warlord faction. It's got a name. I'm not going to attempt that name. <laughs> um, so, so far it seems like the only campaign that's really on for the grand campaign is just random. So unfortunately, we're going to have to try and do this with randomized, so we're not really going to look into... I'm pretty sure all these fleets are the exact same in random worlds. So we're just going to today focus on Fo Bofrost, I assume this is called. This is going to be the fleet we're going to be looking at today, just giving it a brief rundown. Let's first off start off by immediately purchasing that. We have ground, so we're going to get into a space battle and a ground battle to see how kind of the units play. I expect them to be fairly similar to it, but I just kind of want to see how this one plays in difference to, say, the Empire. Definitely lower resources, I can tell already immediately, just because there's only three planets. But we pretty much have similar stuff to the Empire, except for the fact that we can build acclimators and venators, which I think is a really good thing because I always like being able to build venators, given the fact that they are my favorite ship in the game. <laughs> okay, so that's getting made up. Let us focus um, on selling. And I know this is going to be weird, but this is not a campaign. I just want to get as much money as I can to focus on that one planet, just so I can kind of showcase some of the stuff in it and to kind of see it for myself. I would never do this in a campaign, especially not this valuable of stuff. All right, I'm going to bother selling it. Let's just sell the vehicles. Ground troops aren't worth it in the least bit. That's pretty good. That's expensive. That's pretty good. I'll keep that. That seems like a bad thing to sell. <laughs> um, where is... It's a problem. Oh, it's right here. Celeste. Perfect. Give this a similar treatment. Sell the spaceships and the vehicles and buildings. I guess we can sell the capital. It doesn't really matter too much. Though we will have lower money, but I don't really care. $75,000 give us enough to give us a brief rundown on how everything looks. Um, Alright, 77000 Okay, that's pretty good. Decent starting credits. Of course, now we gotta wait like 5 billion years for this to work. <laughs> but I kinda wanna just let this build and see what it has. But while we wait, let's get into a battle. Coruscant doesn't seem to be taken. Let's poke it. There's gotta be at least some sort of fleet over Coruscant that's substantial. Uh, or not? No, yeah, for sure there's something. No capital ships, so I'm just gonna pretty much send everything in and let them nuke him. I kind of see how the new Star Destroyer, it's the Star Destroyer Experimental Mark 1. And it's supposed to be like a Imperial 1, I think, and a Tector Star Destroyer mixed together, which is kind of an interesting combination. I assume one of the differences is it has a fighter complement. Okay, so just start immediately going. We'll meet them halfway. So what is the difference? Yeah, you get experimental ties. You are a EISD, or Experimental Imperial Star Destroyers, is a ISD-1 and a Tector merged together. With an ISD-1 frame, it comes better weapons, but also has medium ion cannons in front. Made the ship it for his personal experimental freight. Yeah, okay. And we have one of these, and two Karax. This is a fairly well-rounded fleet except for fighters because all we have is ties and ties suck but kind of the whole point of ties honestly all right let's just that's the one i wanted to push let's just immediately start getting these ships out i really doubt they're going to be able to put up any fight against us given the fact that we do have this ship i wonder if i can notice a model change definitely 
I can see a model change immediately. Uh, yeah, hang on. Let me get as close as I physically can. See. Nope, I need to be unpaused. Camera view. If you look at the weapons enticements, look how there's more than one. I believe... I want to say an ISD-1, and for sure a Tector only has one a gun in there, I think. I might honestly be 100% wrong, but I think the gun emplacements along the side here are definitely new. Let's get a good screenshot. Okay, perfect. Alright, let's send you in on your own. Let's see how well you perform. Start going in. Ooh, boost engine power. That's pretty good. Okay, immediately just kind of bullet hail here. Okay, so also, that's a lot of missiles. Let us start getting these taken care of immediately. I believe somewhere in here there's an experimental tie that you just... Yeah, this one. This is just basically a proton bomb. <laughs> can you even go against... I don't even actually know if you can... I would be curious. Can you actually just tank this shot? Can you actually just explode the actual crap out of this? I'd be so interested to know. At this point, I'm just curious. And with this, giving its full frontal attack on this, ion cannons, that is important. That is good that it has ion cannons like that. It does fairly well. I want to see now. What do you do in this situation? Nothing. Okay. Just go this way, though. Get out of the fight. I don't even know what the hell all this stuff is. I don't even know what you are, but get in the fight, you look cool. Ooh, why don't you attack this thing? I want to see what you look like up close. Actually, let's see what you look like just going in. Can you, can you actually even attack this thing? You can't. Interesting. It refuses to go. That's fascinating. So it must be only an anti-capital ship weaponry. Alright, finish that off. Move up. Move up. Kerex, you have some weapons somewhere. <laughs> move up. Everybody move up. You've taken a surprising amount of damage. And I assume it's from the assault missiles. Okay, so that's the story. Are those escape pods? And pause. That's not what I wanted to push. Alright, if that is an escape pod, that's actually kind of cool. Also, you got some pretty decent armor. You're like an upgraded ISD-1, which I like. And these are heavy turbo lasers. That's nice. That's something I didn't even realize. Because that's something I think the ISD-1 doesn't have. I might be wrong, but I think they have medium turbo lasers, don't they? I might be 100% wrong. Are you Interceptor? Alpha Strike Interceptor. Deal with the bombers, please. I actually want to see what you do. How you look like. Yeah, let's just watch this from a cinematic perspective. Oh, sometimes it just straight up looks like a movie. <laughs> I'm just taking screenshots, ignore me. I don't know if you can actually see the little screenshot thing pop up. I think you might be able to, but I'm just taking screenshots. We are victorious, yay. Did we actually lose anything? We can't have. So we're like a better, well-rounded version of the Empire? Question mark? Because with our, ex our experimentals, they actually do a bit more damage and they seem a bit more well-rounded. Like, taking out the fighters was actually 
fairly simple. I think having the experimental ties helped with that. Especially because some of them are just well, really well-rounded. Okay, so we have that. Let's just move this entire fleet that way. We are going to wait for this, so let's speed this up a bit. Oh god, how dear lord, how long is this going to take? Okay, that's fun. I might not be able to see all of their troops this time around. Alright, move to here. We have 98, 70,000. Let's just see. When all can we build? Let's go to here. I don't expect to build anything further past this point, kind of. But let's see what giving us, say, standard factories. And then, yeah, just give us a standard factory. This shouldn't take too long to build, should it? Oh dear lord, why does it take so long to build? We're 2% in, dear lord. I kind of forgot about how everything's slower now. <laughs> With the Big Chungus update. Okay, so you're at 31, so we are chugging along. We're going to wait for this to get to uh, 100, and then we're going to see what that is, and then that's probably going to be it for the episode, so I'll see you guys then. And we are done. What did that do? Imperial War, Imperial War, Advanced Sword Out. What? Where's the. <laughs> where's the new ones? Where's the. The experimental Star Destroyers? Can we not build those? That'd be weird. I don't know if that's a bug or if we just can't build those. Or if those three, the three experimental ones are the only ones we get. I wonder if we're supposed to be able to build those. Or maybe we only can build them over on Cohort, maybe? I don't know. That's weird. It doesn't appear to be any other stuff here for us to do. Anyway... We're going to get this ground battle started. I imagine this is going to be fairly similar to... There's not going to be really any difference here, but because there's no new ships. This this fleet battle is pretty much just to showcase the experimental. Okay, mainly one. Move out. Move out. This is independent faction, so I'm not actually worried in the slightest. I'm just going to go all in heavy attack. You guys will be group. That's the wrong button. Group one. Move out. Start moving out, actually. Group two. These guys should be able to keep up with you fairly easily and be able to catch up as I think they're actually faster than you. You also start moving up, you're a bit slower, so it's best if you get a move on. I don't actually know where they're going to go, so I want you to go up here. Group 2, go up here. I don't actually know what they're going to be dealing with, so I want group 2, group... Ah, that's annoying. Nope. I want you. 
and I want you. You're going to be group two. Move out this way. And we'll send a group of these guys, group three, go and accompany them. Okay, we seem to have contact. No, keep going. Actually, you know what? Keep going. Group one, keep going. All of you are also going to be part of group one. Follow them. I kind of want to see what this little fleet here can do. Because I think you can guys can pretty much handle anything, right? I mean, we have anti-infantry. We have anti-vehicle. Or at least a little bit of anti-vehicle. Start dealing with this. I want group one. Scratch that. I actually want all of you come back down this way. <laughs> That's actually a really stupid decision to have them come up this way. I thought maybe I could flank them around, but this isn't in a proper battle. So. Group three. Group two. I actually don't know what you guys are even capable of doing. Yeah, okay. Move out. Oh, Kate, target. Target the uh, terribleness. Please. That are these guys. Because you guys are terrible. I think those blue lightning laser bolts mean something. Why aren't you on our side? I mean, I guess, yeah, actually. I can kind of see why you wouldn't be on our side. <laughs> And march forward, start wrecking stuff. You can start dealing damage to that. Not you. You start dealing damage to that, please. Attack this, because they're not really doing anything. Well, that looked like they- oh, they are still standing. Almost a little bit bugged in their death animations, it looks like. At least these ones are, I don't know, let's check. Are these ones death bugged? I don't know if that's a, something in this- in just the sub mod or in everything else. And... That's pretty much one. I don't know what you're shooting at. Hey, why don't you keep moving this way? <laughs> start going this way, start trying to take out this. Immediately start seeing, get into range of that as soon as you can, and just start blowing it to crap. It seems like some of this wall's actually catching some of our fire here, which is surprising. But we are getting through it relatively quickly. And kaboosh. I want you to also start focusing on this. Let's move forward. Funny enough, I actually haven't met the... I've only been dealing with these guys. I actually haven't met. So you guys keep moving this... Move this way, actually. Do we have group two? No. You guys will be group two. I'm curious if we get any different options here. I don't think we do. But it'd be cur kind of curious to know. Um, start destroying that, please. Group one, be ready for anything. Demolish that. And... Yeah, it looks the same. Yep, yeah, we just get the same same old Imperial stuff, which kind of makes sense, honestly. Alright, start moving out this way. We're just going to kind of carve through here. Well, there's the Imperial Palace. That's what they're all getting. I'm actually going to make all of you group one. I'm not too terribly focused on micromanaging anything. This is a showcase after all. I don't even really care if I win this battle. <laughs> this is just to see if this somehow plays any different than the Empire, which it really doesn't. It is cool. I wish there was some different ground units. But, you know, it's still very early development, I believe. So you can't judge the mod the dev too hard on this. 
it seems like there's a lot of new interesting stuff that's going to come out soon, so I'm going to I'm gonna be looking forward to that. And by the way, I am going to be doing, still, you might notice, there's not a part one or anything on this video. That's because this isn't going to be a campaign, but that corporate sector authority one I started is an actual campaign, just to clear up confusions. I am going to be trying to play through that as far as I can. Oh. We're, sh we're shooting at something. I don't know entirely what- oh, we're shooting at walls. Oh, good old Empire at War. <laughs> Just, just give up. Dear Lord, just give up. Just a hail of just green and red. Just give up, man. Oh, interesting. This is just another wall. Okay, they're not actually here, are they? Start going this way. March past them, go out this way. If that doesn't work, I might send these guys out to just hunt. That is just formidable looking. Look at that. That might be our thumbnail right there. That's just formidable. Oh, hey. Independent. We found them. <laughs> Kinda wanna see. I mean, I assume there's just gonna be normal bombers. Yeah, it's just normal bombers. They'll, they're kinda perfect for us to just kinda smoke them. So let's just do that. Let's focus on this one. Oh, they seem to be moving. Are they? Dodging my bombing run? I mean, it ain't gonna work, but that's super cool. I also love the new bomb effects. It's still one of the cooler parts about this mod. Keep chasing them down. I think this is, might be the last unit. Group two. Keep coming around. You're gonna be holding your own here against things that are designed to kill you, so be ready for anything. It seems small arm fire isn't doing a whole lot against this, to be honest. I know small arms fire does a decent amount of time against you guys. Group two, get over to here. Group one, start dealing with that. Group two, flank them, get into cover. And just start dealing de de damage. You got heavy weapons in there. Maybe you can do something. Just start dealing damage against that. Alright, get up here and immediately box them in. This is perfect. This is what we wanted. No real way for them to escape. And we are victorious. It doesn't play too differently from the Empire. It would be nice to see some ground units added that are kind of unique to this faction. Um, but I think the next faction I'm going to test out will be definitely the Hapes Consortium, because that I feel like is going to be the most unique. It's because those ships aren't anywhere else, right? Like, the Corporate Sector Authority, most of those ships can be purchased by the Black Sun. These ships, you can find them all pretty much at some point during the Imperial campaign, except from I don't know if you can get these in the normal Imperial campaign. Also, I don't know why I can't build them anywhere. Like, they don't exist here, and I don't know if that's just on Kuat. Somebody will have to tell me if it's just something for Kuat or something like that. I don't really know. But this entire mod pack seems very... not mod pack. Some mod seems very fun, and it's... it adds an extra challenge that's nice. Anyway, I think I'm gonna leave that one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. If you want to see more content similar to mine, go check out my brother's channel or my cousins at Mercury Plays Games or Karma K. All links will be in the description below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!